Hi Project for Awesome, I'm Leo and I'm a teacher in London and what that means is is that I'm presented to teenagers regularly uh, as somebody who has answers and the curriculum in Britain means that I'm presented as someone who has answers not only about my specialist subject but also about sex, contraception, relationships um, and any number of other things that fall under personal, social and health education. Occasionally one will get a period having teenager try and intimate to you through eyebrows and euphemisms that they need to go and see to a period. Sir, I need to go to the toilet. They won't say the word vagina uh, and they won't say the word period. But out of context, when used as an insult, euphemisms for the vagina get thrown around at school all the time and it's actually part of my job to punish that right and i'm worried about the paradigm that that creates in our society so i went to the vagina museum in camden market to talk to uh, a few members of staff there including the director and founder florence Schechter, about what they're doing to try and fight this issue in society so the museum came to be in a rather flippant way when I discovered there is a penis museum in Iceland, which is fantastic, but there is no vagina equivalent anywhere in the world. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to make one. So I sent out a tweet in 2017 and the rest is history. I retweeted this tweet on our like third birthday or something and it says, you know, there's a penis museum, but there's no vagina museum who wants to start one with me. So I retweeted it saying, or quote tweeted it, saying, oh my God, I can't believe this was three years ago. And loads of people replied on Instagram and Twitter being like, there is a vagina museum, it's in London. And I was like, I, I know, I made it. <laughs> when I first started volunteering at the museum, when we opened, we were flooded. We were absolutely flooded with people. It was the most amazing thing. And there were people who were here because they knew it was a safe space for women. There were people who were here because they thought they were gonna to get to see a vagina. And every time either of those people left, they were happy to have come. Everybody learned something new. And it was, it's, it has been really amazing. So half of the world has a vagina but this word is treated as rude, as pornographic almost. Um, one of the things I've noticed uh, administrating our Facebook channel, for example, we're not even allowed to, in our URL, call ourselves the Vagina Museum. We have to be the V Museum. And this has a real knock-on effect for young women in particular. When people have symptoms like bleeding, they don't want to go to their doctor because the thought of having to go to the doctor and show them that part of the body is just too mortifying for them. Um, it's about things like, you know, people not even being able to say the word vagina in government has happened multiple times around the world, even when talking about things like abortion access. This stigma is stopping us from letting us have the human rights that we need. One of the other amazing things about the museum is how it was instantly a safe space without us having to kind of say that out loud or put up signs or anything. And it, it was amazing how many people overshared because they really felt like this was a safe space. And, and I think that's another reason the museum is such uh, an important thing. While we were open as normal, what happened was a lot of people would come in and they'd make donations, but that's not happening anymore. For the time being, it's a bit tough being a small independent museum. You know, we've just been kind of struggling to survive just to make sure that we can stay alive long enough so that when the world can open up again, we can open too. What amazes me most about Florence is her energy and her love of educating the public about vulvas and vaginas and women's gynecological anatomy. It's still, I still trip over the word vagina because I have not really said it all that often in my life. And to see someone who not only is incredibly educated on the subject, but is so passionate and 
so passionate to educate others, but in a really fun and exciting and engaging way, is it truly gives me hope for generations to come. Are there no good jokes about the design? There's no. got to be at least one good joke. Put it in the comments! <laughs> don't, don't do <laughs> No, now I have to disable the comments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leo from the future here. I have just finished a rough edit of the video and there's over an hour of material I wasn't able to use. Uh, so I will create a longer cut um, with more of the conversations I had with Florence and Janine uh, and Zoe. And I will put a link to that in the description of this video and a card when it's ready. But I wanted to get this one ready for the Project for Awesome. Please go search up the Vagina Museum uh, on the internet. Show them some love. Show them some love here for Project for Awesome. Uh, and have a great weekend.